Well, YouTube's being a cock this morning. I'm all trying to get ready for work and uh just doesn't want to start recording. I don't know, it does that to me a lot. So let's see. Try to put makeup on. Why are you staring at me? Um it's five AM <coughs> why I sound like a crazy woman and I am getting ready to go drive my cab which is turning out to be pretty fun if you don't get upset about being yelled at and treated like a retard sometimes the boss's why the 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 boss's girlfriend works with us. Not very fun. He seems like a good guy, but he seems a little high strung and a little full of himself, like like he can do no wrong, you know? Which is fine, he's the boss. That's why he makes the big money to make sure that the rest of us do no wrong. Sometimes, when you're wrong, you just need to come out and say that you're wrong. Because everybody knows that you're wrong, and it's not like you're going to look like you're less of a man for being wrong, you know? Um, we have these things called passes so that we can get on to the army post. <coughs> and he makes a pass for each vehicle. And each vehicle has each driver's name blah 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 you get the point well you have to get a new pass like every three months or something like that and uh... i switched vehicles yesterday i got to drive a minivan which was hot i look like soccer mom driving around picking up cute soldiers and uh... It, i mean it was good because i was getting i was getting to be comfortable at last you know instead of like trying to pull five or six different things out of my ass at once I was actually pretty relaxed and laid back until my pass wasn't there and I had customers in the car which means you can't get on the army base so I call into the office and I tell him and he's like uh no your name is on the pass and because of a good friend of mine who decidedly thinks that he should use strange words and shit when we talk. You know, I say something and he goes, negative. I've picked it up, this whole negative thing, instead of saying no. And so, of course, I call back into dispatch and I say, negative. My name is not in this pass. And suddenly... It was like an explosion erupted in this little thin man's head. He looks like a hippie, which I'm probably more of a hippie than most people. I really want to have dreads, but I'm afraid to dread up my hair and ruin it. You know, because once you do that, you can't go back. So anyways, this little man pops a gasket and starts screaming, Negative! What? The dispatch is never negative. And I'm sitting here going, um, do you mean like negative as in karma negative? Or negative as in your ass is wrong, my name's not in this past negative? So I just go quiet and thank God I'm a flirt. You know that song? I'm a flirt. Mm -mm -mm. That's me. So I'm flirting with the gate guard the day before and he just happens to recognize me and because I wear these really huge sunglasses he calls me Hollywood and he's like what's up Hollywood and I'm like S -s -s -s. I won't say his name because that might be some federal law that I can't tell you a gate guard's, gate guard's name I'm like do you remember me from yesterday will you please tell these honkies no I'm kidding I didn't say honky but honky's a cool word, isn't it? Would you please tell these people that I really was here yesterday 
I really am a taxi cab driver. And that I really need to get on this frickin' post. So, he does. And the supervisor lets me through. I drop off my customers. And then I'm instructed to come back to the stand. So, I go back to the stand. And guess whose girlfriend's shit doesn't stink? She marches out to the van and blah, 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 I'm the boss's girlfriend and my shit don't stink. Listen, y'all were wrong. You should have just said you were wrong. Did we say that we were wrong? No. You should look at me and go, uh, I guess you have to go get another one now. Which took two hours out of my fares. Not cool. <coughs> Still didn't make enough to buy my own cell phone. But I'm saving. And I'm going to get it. I think I'm going to get it today. Hopefully. So, my people were pretty boring yesterday. Had one little weird man in the car talking about some girl that was missing. Had another guy that was just being downright disgusting, trying to talk nasty to me and stuff. And I was just like, whatever, dude. And I really didn't meet anybody interesting. But what did happen was the guy that I trained with, who's hot by the way, came in for the first time since he trained me and we were just having like mega flirty day and at the end of the day I stayed a little bit late. I really wasn't thinking about how he gets off an hour later than I do. I was trying to get my paperwork done and talking to the night dispatcher and getting some more tips on how to make money and he kind of pulled me over as I was driving out and he was like, you didn't recognize me, did you? And I hadn't checked my voicemail over the days that he was off and apparently he called me while he was off. <coughs> Sorry about that. Morning time, I just can't get past that whole clearing of the throat thing. Anyways, he called me and had invited me out and I had just happened to uh, not be awake. So I'll tell you about that in a minute. Because I gotta find my red lip gloss and get the fuck out of here. It's like 5.30 or something, and what am I looking for? This needs to go in there. I'm like scatterbrained this morning. Anyways, maybe I can tell it to you really fast. He, uh, invited me out, and so I didn't know it all day while we were going back and forth, like flirting, and uh, I asked him if he needed a ride home, because his cars broke down. And on the way home, he's just so, so, so freaking quiet. And I just, I don't know, like, you know when you get around somebody that's, like, really hot or that you kind of like and you get, like, a tingling sensation in your bones and you just want to reach out and grab them and pull them and kiss them and squeeze them and call them George and keep them for your very own? Yeah, I'm, like, the stalker girl that... I like goes crazy over that shit. Anyways, I was hoping that he would kiss me, and he didn't, cause he's like really shy, and that's really weird, cause usually I'm the shy one, and he was way shyer than I was, and I just I don't know. For the first time, I like really wanted to be aggressive instead of being passive. Because I'm usually a very passive girl. I don't go after guys. I don't ask them for their phone numbers. I don't, like, chase them. 
Okay, except for Kush, because he's a hottie. But he's on...